Hey, we're here in Orlando, Florida for the PGA show. I've been coming here, I think, every year since 1994. Patrick's here with me for the first time. We're going to go inside today and we're going to show you some of the new latest things in the golf industry from a training aid point of view to video capture, motion capture, and equipment. So come along and, and watch. I, th I think you'll love it. This is the Pure Truth Trainer. Um, pretty much covers all the principles that I use to, uh, to practice putting. I really like the strings over the target line. Uh, you can vary those um, to if you wanted your eyes inside the target line a little bit. Then it has a gate that you can learn to practice through as well. So, um, and it and it can work indoors on a putting mat. That's what I really like about it. My, all of my stuff, you have to be on the green to to stick the stuff in the ground. And I really like it to be able to work indoors. I'm going to give you a look at the DeWiz Golf device. It is this device right here, a piece of wearable technology based in Sweden, connects to an app on your phone or tablet, and we're tracking and measuring all kinds of data related to the hand and wrist path throughout the golf swing. So turn it on, it's on my wrist, connects to the app. I'm gonna show you real quickly how easy and quick you get this data. So I have the app open. This is something you don't need to be hitting a ball. You don't need to have a club in your hand. You can be at your house taking air swings, practice swings, in your office, in between meetings. I just line up. I wait for the tone from the app. There's the ding. I'm going to take a swing. And then right there, we're getting all that data. It goes right directly into the app. We're all looking at all kinds of different metrics, length of backswing, transition, steepening, shallowing, tempo numbers, hand speed, all kinds of different stuff that you can work on in your golf swing. And the final part, the most important part and the coolest part, the learning stimuli plates on the back end of the device, our patented technology is gonna deliver a small little electrical impulse right there on your wrist as soon as your swing leaves the parameters that you've set for yourself. So think. You know, I, I, I thought I did something. I wasn't sure. I don't want to have to go back and look at the video afterwards. I'm going to get that real-time feedback from these learning stimuli plates in the midst of my swing. That's The Wiz. You can learn more at thewizgolf.com. I'm at Bucket Golf. It's got its own little golf club. It's got a wiffle ball. It's got tee markers. I'm on hole number four here at Orange County National playing a Bucket Golf hole. Patrick will scan out that way. You can see number four buckets over there. That's where we're going. And uh, looks to me like a great idea for my junior golf program to have young kids have fun. They have a nine hole set and a three hole set. And so if you wanted it at home, we can see. It's gonna be pretty tough with this wind here. I have a feeling with the wiffle ball. So I'm gonna to have to aim to the left. So we'll see how we do. First swing of the day, don't laugh at me, okay? I pretty much had the right club. Not too bad, huh? So here's my bucket. I think you gotta get it in. I don't know the rules, but as you get pretty close here, it's pretty tough to, to get it in the bucket. That's way harder than putting. It might be. <laughs> there we go. Bucket golf. Try it out. Uh, just a quick step. My favorite shafts probably in golf is graphite design. So we're just walking by. I just wanted to say, hey, check them out. They're really good. I, their Tour AD shaft's awesome. And I'm not, I don't have a great deal of swing speed anymore. And I think. Of, for a tour quality shaft for golfers that have less than 100 mile an hour club head speed. Uh, Graphite Designs got some great shafts that perform really well. One of the most interesting things we've seen on the range today. Video camera. There's a video camera oh. in there. It's AI to find the ball in the video picture. Yes. Oh. I see. It's hardware really simple. And how much does it retail for? It doesn't retail yet. It's okay. Just in pre production. So okay. All right, great. So, anybody that's interested in 
vesting and TZ Tech, they should look you up. Exactly. Yeah. All right, that will do. Hey, Patrick and I are here at the PGA show in Orlando. Our first stop is trainingaids.com. Oh, thank this you. This is Brian. Nice to and, meet you. And uh, nice to meet you, too. Um, they distribute and own one of my favorite training aids, uh, which is the putting arc. So I highly recommend it. And uh, I'm sold. I have the old wooden one that originally came out probably you, 25 or 30 years ago. Well, we're gonna get Ed. Up. We're gonna get Ed set up with a new so, one for sure. So, so we appreciate your support. <laughs> but a lot of my students, especially the, my junior competitive players, all end up. Uh, with a getting with a putting, putting arc. arc already, so I've seen all of those. So, excellent, excellent. So they're great. New putting arcs have a mirror on top, so I'm a mirror fan as well. So um, I'm a big fan of having the mirror up front. Um, I've hit a zillion putts on a putting arc. Back when I was playing, it was in my hotel room every night using the putting arc to practice my stroke and uh, and uh, get ready for the next day. So there's many, many, many tournament players that travel with these uh, everywhere they go. So I'm a really big fan of the mirror. Uh, get your eyes in the same position every time. And uh, you, you can't go wrong with, with the putting arc. Trainingaids.com also owns and distributes the divot board um, and I like it a lot um, you know I think low point in the swing is probably one of the most important aspects of learning to be a good player and um, this is a pretty good aid to see where you're bottoming out and what the path of your swing is as well so um, if I make a swing and I'm too much to the left you'll see that'll make a mark the wrong way and um, I'm a big fan of these. Anything that gives you feedback on low point of swing and path is a good idea. For those of you that are having weight transfer problems, if you're always on your back foot as you finish your golf swing, um, this power shift board um, is a pretty good feeling. You can feel how it loads on your back trail leg at the top and you can hear this auditory click on the way down. If if uh, you're getting the correct weight transfer. I'm here with Edwin at uh, Sportsbox AI. That's correct. Probably here at the show this year, this technology is probably gonna be the biggest buzz in the whole industry. Would you agree with that? I would agree with that, yes. And, um, you know, for years we've had 3D motion available, but you had to use sensors and a jacket and all this That's stuff, correct. and everybody hated it. Absolutely. But yours is all artificial intelligence. We, we've used a uh, really neat technology to make it markerless. So we're using our AI 3D recognition technology to basically pinpoint the entire body using AI technology. And we're using high speed cameras to be able to capture that. And with those cameras, we're able to then generate uh, 3D information off the 2D video. Great. And then um, you also have a comparison mode where you can Absolutely. see the uh, tour player and Absolutely. look so at we, their numbers too? That's exactly right. correct. So we have a comparison mode that you can put up against a tour player. You can do it before and after. So if you want to show change, you can do it before and after. Uh, so you can show like what the person started at the beginning of the lesson and show how they improved it towards the end of the lesson. Or like you said, you can do it as a comparison versus tour players. We also have ranges. We have an average of all the PGA Tour players based on our database that allows us to compare what that player is doing in uh, relation to what the average PGA Tour or LPGA Tour player is doing. And this is Dylan. Um, I think he pretty much invented this because of the, tell your story, high school player. Yep. So I'm, so I'm a college player now, but back when I was in high school and I was playing golf, I struggled a lot with head movement and my swing. So I had my mom hold an alignment stick to the end of my head and to try and make me not sway off the ball. But what happened was I had a big punching bag in the backyard in COVID that I taped an alignment stick to the top two and I would just rest my head on top of it. But I realized I wasn't practical for bringing to the course when I was actually on the range. So I had always a tripod with me that I could film my swing with. And I realized that if I got a Star Wars lightsaber that I poked two holes into with a pill cutter and I taped it all together, it could do something very similar. So then I did a 
I did some R&D with my dad, I got an engineer involved, we got patents and trademarks, and now it is what you see here today. So it's an adjustable training aid that goes from 15 inches to 65 inches and moves side to side, up and down for whatever drill you might be working on, whether you're a coach or a player. All right, great. And uh, yeah. Got it tripod you can put a camera on it right yes, sir yeah yep. so you can put a camera on it as well and it comes with everything you see here and it moves totally side to side up and down whatever you're working on for these uh -huh. main drills uh -huh. so we have the freedom with a lot of different coaches that we've worked with they'll come up with different ways to use it but these are our eight main core drills so you have head movement over the top hip sliding uh forward shaft lean steep in the swing a lot of the main drills that people you know the three main problems that people struggle with the product actually fixes because you know you have a lot of training aids that might fix one specific thing in the swing but the versatility of it allows it to fix a lot of different components yeah. well i'm an alignment stick fan yeah, exactly me too so, immediate feedback right yeah. absolutely and i use lots of different drills and this is awesome Thank especially you so for somebody on their own to practice to be able to set something up and and thank some immediate feedback. Thank you so much. It's awesome. I wish you great luck. Appreciate right? it. Thanks. Thank you so much. Here at the Y Golf booth, um, you all know I like alignment sticks. This one's a great indoor one if you have a great indoor studio. I like setting up alignment sticks at different angles. This one actually has different degrees on it, so if you want to practice with a six iron, you can put it on the 60 degree mark, and if you want to use a driver, you can put it on a 45 degree mark. Um, you can put it at various positions, and I'm a fan of it. I, I'm gonna get one for my indoor studio back home. Hey, I'm here with Amanda, and uh, I'm gonna let her talk, but this is really a neat booth, and I'm wearing the Viper 2. Is that this what is, I mean? So this is called the Venom 2 bag. Venom 2, I'm yeah. sorry, yeah. No, it's okay. We forgive you this time. All right. Um, but this is a really cool heated back wrap. It has three different levels of massage. You can do pulse settings or constant massage, and it covers all over your lower back into the sides. It has an adjustable strap that you can tighten on the other end to make yep. sure that you get a really tight finish and have that sticking against your back. And it also has three levels of heat. So you have starting from kind of a mild heat all the way to pretty hot, and that covers all of your lower back for a lot of really great pain relief, help with inflammation, any sort of issues. And the best part is your hands free. Um, so you can keep doing what you need to do. You can go on the range, you can putt, you can do what you need to do at home. And it's just a really versatile product. Right, and it's endorsed by quite a few uh, tour players, right? A hundred percent. Rory lives in this, which is great. Um, he's a great ambassador and investor with Hyper Ice. So you'll see a lot of um, him on the range or him before getting warmed up on tour as well. And I can only tell you, this feels amazing. Patrick had it on bef before we shot this video, and I, I think he likes it. <laughs> and uh, after walking around the show, and demo days yesterday, this feels great. I bet. This this becomes the favorite booth after a couple days at the show. That's 100% yeah, true. Absolutely. I can see why. <laughs> so we have the Lagmaster here. Um, so it's a very versatile training aid for golf. It works for righties, lefties, juniors, adults. Um, we have it on our mini club here, which is weighted. Um, so you can use it in place of a regular club for indoor training. Uh -huh. um, but you can clip it onto anybody's club. So you detach it here. Um, you can take it off, put it on your own club so you can hit balls with it or practice with it with your own equipment. I'll just keep it attached here. And then you can lengthen this pole here. I have this one set I see, for... depending on where it hits you and how, how you're built. Right? Correct. Yep. Um, and your flexibility level as well, because okay. not everybody has great shoulder flexibility. Okay. Yep, I agree. Um, so I'm going to keep it here because it's set for me. Okay. So how it works is you're going to take your grip, you're going to bring it up here till it hits your right shoulder. And you're gonna sustain this angle till your left arm's about parallel with the ground. So see, that's getting rid of that throwaway motion that is very common that a lot of golfers struggle with. So I'm gonna bring it down here, sustaining that angle. Once we get to about here, you're gonna release up to your left shoulder and out to your finish. So it's very simple motion, but it simplifies an action that a lot of golfers have a very difficult time um, achieving. So up to your right shoulder, sustain that angle, release, and up to the finish there. And like I said, it's right-handed, left-handed. You can use it um, on your own equipment or on our mini-weighted club, hit balls with it, take it outside. And that's it. Yeah. Lagmaster. Yeah, it's great. I, and I like it, I, especially the points where it hits on your trail shoulder and then your lead shoulder on the follow-through. Very many old instructors in the old days 
that's how they taught swing playing. Right. Was that you that as long as the club was over your shoulder, you're right. all right. Yeah. And so it's pretty fascinating idea. I like it. Yeah. So thanks, thanks oh, for showing no it. No problem. Thanks for coming. All right. Hey guys, Patrick and I are here at uh, Penn. That's it. Penn Golf. That's this, us. This is Buck. <laughs> He's from Alabama. If you can't tell by the accent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My name is Buck. I'm one of the co-founders of Pin Golf. Uh, so this is our second year at the PGA Show. We're having a great time here and uh, yeah, showing off all of our new products that we have. Yeah, and I listen to Michael Breed every morning in the car. Yep. And so I know Mr. Um, Breed reps us. Which he is does. Very nice. He does a nice job. And, yes, he does. And uh, trustworthy. Tell us a little about your range finders. Sure thing. So our range finders here. Essentially, what we're getting into is we're, we're trying to lower scores and not break the bank. Uh, we're really trying to have the same features and functionality of all of the real big Bushnells, Garmin's of the world, uh, but you know, almost for half the price. So we're going to have the slope switch. We're going to be able to, when you lock in on the target, it's going to vibrate. It's a USB-C charger instead of a battery, which is great. A lot of people you know, on the course, dead batteries. It's not a double A or a triple A battery, tough to find. How long does uh, the charge last? 65 rounds. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty charge. awesome. That's the neatest thing about this it, is it's no batteries. Yeah, yeah. It, it's great too. A lot of uh, courses are starting to have USB ports inside the golf carts. Mm -hmm. That helps our case big time. Yep. So, uh, and the magnet obviously is great. Yep. Yep, magnet's great. Nice and easy. Bunch of different colors. Yep, colors are huge. We have the speakers as well. Yep. If, if you're into that, some people, that's a 50 50. Either, Breed, Breed doesn't like that, does yep, he? Yep, exactly. He doesn't <laughs> like it or, or you do like it. So, uh, you know, end of the day, we're just, we're really trying to just keep up with our customer base and what they want. And we make the improvements to our range finders as we get the feedback from everybody. Great. So, anytime you find a really good product at a lot lower price, it's a, it's a good thing, don't yeah, you think? Yeah, can't beat it. You yeah. know, we're just, we, we were one of our customers, so we're just trying to really stay grounded like that. Three bossy kids that started it five years ago and you know, do what we need to for the golf community. Buck, nice to meet awesome. you. Awesome, thank you. If you're ever in St. Louis, look us up, all I right? I will, sounds right. good. Yep. Hi guys, uh, Patrick and I are here at the Orange Whip booth. I have, how long have you been in business? 16 years. Yeah, I've probably been using the Orange Whip that long. Yeah, so, you're an early adopter, that's yeah, great. Oh, absolutely, it's one of my favorite, most of my people that watch me know I'm not into a lot of training aids, yeah. so I, I use alignment sticks and the orange whip, and I mean, that's about it. So, Good, simple. So, and uh, Jim, uh, tell them a little bit. It's a great story. You caddied on tour. Yep, I caddied on the PGA Tour, and I was a teacher at the time as well, but as a teacher, I was very technical. I was not simple. But when I caddied on tour, I was able to watch guys like Jeff Ogilvy and Ernie Els and Retief Goosen, and then this beautiful rhythm and I was thinking, well, how can I develop that kind of rhythm for my game and some of my students? And as I watched over and over, I started to see that the golf club looked like a ball on the end of a chain when they'd swing it. So I thought, well, that's my new philosophy. I call it the ball and chain. Well, I did make a little a, a grip, a chain, and a ball, and it was okay partway back, but then when I went all the way back, it wrapped around my neck. So we transitioned from the chain to a very flexible rod just like a fishing rod. And that became the chain that if you force it back, it's out of, uh, it's out of tension. If you wait for it to load, you can create as much force as you want, but you've got to wait for it to load. So we have that. The ball is a heavy ball, about 10 and a half ounces. And I center shafted it because I wanted people to swing in balance and on plane. We then added a counterweight, which is eight and a half ounces, but this grip is two. So it's an evenly balanced device. When it's evenly balanced, when you swing it back and forth, whether you recognize it or not, your golf swing will be on plane because it wants to be in balance. And we took that idea, we made a few different versions. Like I've got a shorter version here for, for different height players. We have a junior version. We've got the wedge that Stan Utley developed with us. And Stan Utley's been a great asset to our yeah, development. Yeah, a great friend of mine. And Maybe the best short game instructor in the world, if you ask me. Yeah, so. he's so fun to learn from. So we, we've done a lot with that. And he, he's basically helped me, because I was a good ball striker who struggled if I missed a green. And Stan has helped me tremendously. He even helped help us promote the orange rip putter, which is a right and left-handed putter. 
but it's also very uh, it's very easy to uh, to basically find your perfect rhythm because of the shaft and the counterweight and the flow. But I've made the putter with a round face, so you have to hit in the center. If you hit a putt, any putter in the dead center, it's going to go roll much better. So this is teaching you good rhythm with the shaft and center contact with the face. And he mentioned fishing. When I showed this to my students in Orange Whip, um, and I tell them how important it is to feel that flex at the top of the backswing, I like to fly fish. So it's no different. When you make a back cast fly fishing, you have to wait for that line to load your rod. And once it does, you can go forward. And, and that, and that and makes it easier for you with fly fishing to direct the line where you want to go. Mm -hmm. Same with golf. If you wait for it to load, you can swing or whip all the energy of the club head or the ball to your target. And the way this, there's imitations of this on the market and they're not any good. His is the best. It's weighted the best, and it truly is the best. Thank you. And um, one of my, we don't have much room here, so I won't do it, but what I've showed a lot on some of my videos, one of my favorite drills with this orange whip is to start parallel to the ground on your heel line on this way through, yes. and then swing back towards where the ball would be. If you start this training aid, this orange whip on the correct plane on this exit point and you swing back, it will swing you on plane perfectly. That's it, a wonderful it's drill. An, yeah. It is. It's, 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 it's one I use the most. Most of my students buy one of these and I tell them to go to orangewhip.com and, and uh, buy one of these and do this drill and it's amazing. Especially if you're in a colder climate right now, if you have room in the garage or the house to swing, swing every day for two, three minutes. One month from now, your back, your body, your golf swing will be ready. Two months from now, you'll be in mid-season form, and you have, probably haven't even been on the course very much. Yep, so I agree. I think it's a great thing to do in the off-season. Yep, I couldn't agree more. Hey, guys. I'm new to this YouTube stuff, all right? Patrick's been in it for five or six years. The biggest line at the PGA show here in Orlando... <laughs> is for Bob Does Sports, is that it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Bob <laughs> Does Sports. They selling their merchandise here. They'll, they'll probably sell more merchandise here than everybody at the show too, so. All right, so we're here at the Cannon booth at the PGA show, and there's lots of range finders, right? Yeah, lots of range finders. And as Canon, this is first time to enter this market with new range finder. Okay. Three things totally different from, different from any other range finders. First, you can capture video and still photography with this. You just click this button uh -huh. to shoot photo, video to here, just one click. Uh -huh. I know it's crazy to shoot video while you're golfing, but when you play with your friends or together, Absolutely. or also you can shoot a, like a flag or any courses so that you don't remember, you remember the course Absolutely. so that you can review the course or well, you sure. play after. Well, That's sure. the first thing. The second is that there is a zoom function. None of the optical range finder, range finder can do the zooming. This one click, you can double the size of the zoom so that you see the clear flag cool. special. So yeah. you just zoom it, measure it, yeah. and go back, and you can get a really accurate distance from the by zooming. Yeah. So because it's digital, that's, nice. that's why we can zoom it. None of the range finder can do the zoom, yeah. right? Third one is that it's an optical image stabilizer built in, so it never shakes. Yeah. So it's gonna be stabilized the image. There are a few high-end range finder coming with the optical image uh, image stabilizers, but this one is not going to be the price at that much. Yeah, yeah. It's an affordable price. We are not ready to announce the price yet, no. but it's going to be very like uh, small, yes. yeah, reasonable a price. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. Also, that's the best one. Also, thank you. A lot of people lose range finder because you need a holder. You attach to the card. Yeah. You forget. This is so small, you can put it in the pocket or even like here, in your pocket. So you don't lose it. You just use it in pocket. So you don't lose this machine. So that's a feature. Again, it's a camera video. So it's a Canon branded. We do have the confidence to the quality of the image. So what do you think there, Patrick? This is a wild one. I, it might be the most interesting thing we've seen so far. Is that right? It's a... It's hard for your brain to understand what you're doing because you're looking at 
a video of yourself also, kind of. I promise you we had no alcoholic beverages at lunch as yeah. we're watching Patrick. <laughs> what, what's this called? The, can, the, the, the cannon, but what's the, what's the, is there a name for it yet? Yeah, the, this, we are basically, our product is this mixed reality goggle. It's called okay. mixed real, M Real X1. Okay. M Real X1. M Real X1. Okay. we're going to sell. Cool. This is just M Real X. Yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah, that's, that's neat. I haven't tried this yet, so I really don't know how good it is or how effective it is, but they were at demo days yesterday, and with force plates and pressure mats and and all that talk in golf these days about using the ground to your benefit to increase your club speed and your balance. Uh, this is a pretty interesting product maybe to check out. It's actually insoles that go into your shoes. And so you don't have to stand on a mat. You don't have to buy really expensive force plates. And you're able to measure and see um, you know, various factors of your feet in the ground, where your weight transfer is, whether you're on your heel or toe or outside of your foot. Um, pretty interesting concept. If I find out more about it, I'll let you know. Okay, if you want to know what maybe the most unique item on the whole floor out here is this year, it's this golf cart. I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to get one. I think I could drive it to my duck blind and I'd never get wet. <laughs> and uh, the only issue is, at my age, I'm not sure I could get in and out of it with, without a hydraulic lift. But, uh, but uh, it's a, if, for people that got a lot of money, you maybe want to get one of these. Uh, we're in the new product section at the show. It's one of my favorite places to go every year. I've never seen it this many products frankly, displayed. It's usually half this amount or maybe a third of what's here this year. I, I find that pretty interesting. Probably in two days, Patrick and I both agree that probably the best new training aid and, and the best new item we've seen here um, is this Pure Truth um, system. If you've seen any of my short game videos, you know I like putting on a chalk line. This has got two of them. It's got a gate, you can use it indoors, that's what I like about it. You don't have to be outdoors to use it, it just sits on the on your putting mat. And, uh, I'm a big fan of it, I'm going to order one for me and, and, uh, and bring it in and let my students use it. Alright, if you ever wanted to learn how to get in the correct posture, wanted to do it interactively, looks to me like this system will do it. No sensors required, again, which is pretty fascinating to us. And uh, it has your hand path um, and your skeleton. And then it, you can also have a mode on there that if you had a golf club in your hand, you could use it as well, I see. Again, at the PGA show, this is the Wanamaker Trophy. Patrick and I have been lucky enough to see two major championship trophies in two days. Uh, Brian Harmon had the Claret Jug yesterday, and we got to see it. And today, that's the Wanamaker Trophy. Nicholas, Woods, gosh, Phil Mickelson, Brooks Kepka, the people that's got their names on this thing is amazing. And it's the real one. This guy's over here protecting it. So um, it's uh, pretty cool to see. Hey, they're not here for some reason, but I did this last year. Um, it's not a golf simulator, but it's a firearm semi simulator and it's awesome and uh, if you like to hunt or you just like to target shoot uh, you can pick your gun if they have different guns available and uh, it's a simulator and I mean it is awesome so you, if, you, if you're into other things other than golf and you like hunting or target shooting uh, and you want something cool in your house uh, this laser shot's awesome hey guys I'm here with Adam Kramer he's the president of Golden Tee I don't know if you're like me, but I've spent a few nights in a bar playing Golden Tee over the years. <laughs> me too. <laughs> so uh, they're here at the show. They get a new update every year. Just yep. tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so this is our newest platform. We partnered with the PGA Tour. So uh, for the first time in 35 years, uh, real PGA Tour courses in the game. So we still have our 
fantasy courses, the courses that you played, uh, and then obviously it looks a little bit different than the probably maybe the Golden Tee that a lot of people played growing up. So uh, a ton of different features, a ton of different content. If you want to play TPC Sawgrass, you can. If you want to play on Mount Everest, you can. And a uh, wide variety of features. Uh, you can log in using your cell phone just by tapping it. Uh, we've got a touch screen here. And again, the, the beauty of the yearly content updates is we just are constantly enhancing the game all year long, all the time. Great. What were you looking at price point? Somebody wants to put one of these in their man cave. So it depends on what version you have. So we have uh, basically what we call our standard model, which would be everything down here. Uh, and we also have a deluxe. This is what I have in my basement, of course, uh, which is everything but the TV. And then over here, just to point this out, if you've got space concerns, you live in a condo, uh, I don't know, maybe your wife doesn't want this thing sitting around. I don't know why that would be. We have I a portable, we, we got a portable version. Awesome. It's the same exact game, same exact hardware, same everything. So all the different form factors, anywhere between $3,200 and $6,500. Great. Yeah. Thanks, Adam. Good Thank luck. Hope time. you have a good show. Appreciate it. All Thank right, you, guys. Thanks. Hey, guys, we're here at Phi Golf. This is pretty unique. For about $300 with a few specials, might be even a little cheaper. Uh, you buy this unit from them. Um, there's an app to download on your phone. You connect to your own television, and you can make golf swings and play these holes. And you can play at home. You don't need a ball. You don't need a mat. You just need their equipment. And uh, I like it. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool idea. <laughs> Not too bad. Cool. Okay. And then... Off the path. Okay. <laughs> the Golf Sensei is is pretty crafty. He used the cart path to get a lot more distance there. Yeah. What am I doing? Oh no, I'm running now. Yeah. All right. It, it's run. It's runny. <laughs> So you can get exercise yeah, and do yeah, it at right. the same like time. Cardio. Cardio. Pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Uh, one of my favorite companies, um, they do great stuff for golf, is U.S. Kids Golf. So anybody that's got young junior players that don't check them out when they're buying equipment, they should. I, in my opinion, they probably do the best at making beginner junior clubs. Um, as well as very competitive uh, junior player clubs as well. They have a bunch of different games you can play. They got a yard club you can buy if you got a two or three year old kid. And um, for us uh, PGA members, uh, they have great certification programs. Uh, and I, I think anybody that's a PGA member um, that doesn't go through their certification programs nuts. So. I've been to a couple different levels of it, and like I said, I think they just do a great job. At the Folds of Honor tent, I just wanted to mention it's one of the great charities that uh, PGA professionals all over the country participate in, and uh, great charity. If you get a chance to support it, um, I'd recommend it. Um, gives golf scholarships uh, to children of uh, veterans um, either lost their lives or become disabled. It's great charity and they do great work. So one of my favorite things and glad to see them here. Tell us about this. Now this has to be the most important operation at demo days right here, right? Yes, sir. You yes, got sir. all these different golf balls. You got to sort them out by brand name, right? Yeah, what, what it is when they hit them out into the range, what we call is pickers. The pickers pick the balls up, they bring them in, come to the washer, they get washed, put into baskets, and then brought over here to the table, which is where they're sorted, which is what these guys are doing right now. They're sorting the balls and sending them down the gutters there to the appropriate barrel barrels there. Awesome. And how many golf balls are going to be hit here today, do you think? Oh, my goodness. I would hate to guess on that. I You're don't right. honestly know. <laughs> Ball. Yeah, I honestly do not know, but it's oh, a, man. It's, but it's, it's a lot, a right? Yes. It's a lot. All it's right. a lot.